Kevin. Yeah, on November 8th of 2010, I put a request into the fire hall, which you guys are the chief and the assistant yeah, chief. Not just Kevin. And it was, it was for your criminal background check and your medical check. It is not. And you never replied to it. And then when I appealed it through the state right to know, they found in my favor that you are to comply by February 5th. Would you explain to me and to the people why there. you are not giving us your criminal background check and your medical training check? I am not the person to be talking to. You're the chief. I'm not He's the assistant chief. You're supposed to be going into place. these people's wrong homes. Wrong place, wrong time. And you're going into these people's person. homes and, and supposedly being our medical treatment our medical response and we want to know why you're not complying with the state law. The supervisor has to be these people no, these people just, are just chief and assistant chief. From the fire department in the wrong, wrong, the wrong place. Well you, you won't let us into the fire hall Frank. We've asked for you to comply yeah. to that as well and you won't let us in. My wife is a supervisor she's asked you on many occasions to let her go in there and just look around. You won't even show up for the interview when she gets there. You drive by and make her make her stand there and wait on you. You did it with Mr. Flockercy as well. No, Mr. Flockercy is weird. When my wife and Mr. Flockercy were over there, you drove around and, and did not come to the meeting you, you had not, scheduled. This is not the meeting to have. I walked out of the fire. So you're not going to answer why you did not comply with the state or, order? Wrong meeting. Wrong meeting. Wrong people. Pardon me? And just you have to join to be a volunteer? No, a supervisor is supposed to be in their own township. So, so you're going to, the, the rumor has it, the rumor has it that you, Mr. Machoka, before you came here from Charlevoix, PA, you had a problem with uh, your criminal background. Is that one of the reasons why you won't comply? I am a school bus driver. That has nothing to do with what you've done. Most certainly and not. what about Mr. James Young, or well, he's the president of the fire hall. Wrong. He was also wrong, implicated. Wrong meeting. You, you have guys are running this community. And you're you're Kevin, responding you to medical calls. For the township, other than the fire department stuff, do you have any questions? Why won't you comply with the state order, Frank? Because it's not me. You need to talk to the person or... Or what? You you're not going to comply with the state order? It's not. You are the fire hall. You two are the no, chief I and the assistant the chief. Fire hall. Okay, you're not the fire hall. Okay, my second question is, this expenditure is dated March 10th through April 13th, 2011. That's today. So all this money on this expenditure was already spent before you guys approved it, which you're going to do tonight by vote. Is that correct? So, is that correct? You have here. The earlier ones, the payroll checks and stuff like that, that comes in on a normal Okay, so, basis. so would you that say half of this on. is already spent? Pardon me? Would you say half of this money is already spent? Oh, I wouldn't say that. No. Okay, so if, if I were to ask you for a specific amount, say Mr. Petrusa for twenty six seventy five, have you written him that check yet? Right here. Wait and get signed. Okay, uh, you, you haven't paid anybody on this thing yet. Is that what you're saying? Other than the payroll stuff, I would imagine. This board is supposed to vote I on everything before any money is taken out. That isn't how it works. That isn't how that local is government is run. You guys are supposed to, according to Mr. Lewis in, in the newspaper, you guys are supposed to vote on budgetary items before the money is now, allocated. let's just pay bills once a month instead and let them all be late and cost the taxpayers more with late fees. What's the difference whether they're late? That's they're freezing accounts. They're freezing accounts as we speak now. And you don't seem to be too concerned about it. Baker's has been frozen. Baker's Auto Parts has been frozen for all the purchases that Mr. Machoka made this Baker past winter, and you guys have not paid the bill. Me with they no. have been paid every I've single been, invoice I've received. They, now, according to them. I, I've been talking to Baker's, and I've been talking to Harper. Well, then you can secure the invoices. So I, I have an email. I she emailed them to you. And our account is frozen until our payments so, are paid. Yep. Well, I think it would okay, be. Three minutes are up, yeah, Kevin. Thank, thank you very much. Okay. I think at the least you guys can do as the chief and the assistant chief is to get to the bottom of this and get us an answer to this We've so that we don't have to sue an you an in common you police an court. To that. You oh, will be sued in common police court over this. 
want to talk about our stuff? Yeah, I don't want to talk to you, fine, because all I get is uh, different answers. I don't get the answer I want. Now I want to talk to Elizabeth. You're the bookkeeper and the secretary. What have you found out about the eight hundred dollars that's missing? I think everybody should what know. What eight hundred dollars that's missing? The plane turned you at one of the meetings and said, "We have eight hundred dollars missing, right?" I don't know. Two what you're months talking about. about. Would you like to hear the recording? No, I don't want to hear your recording. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, uh -huh. To take something out of context. No, 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 no. It's Frank's voice and says it, though. It's not right. taking a lot of time. I really don't know what the, what that is. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Well, then why wouldn't you want to listen to the tape? Make sense of it. Everybody else has. I wanted to call that number that was on uh, Amsdale's sign would have heard the same message I did. There you go. It's from this recorder right here. It's from the 2010. Anything else? No. Thank you, Mary Ann. Okay. Um, okay, minutes. Um, next thing, Auditor, Auditor General copies from the audit report for the Volunteer Fire Department for the Relief Association. Um, the cover letter, I am, I am pleased to provide compliance, the compliance audit report of the President's Township Volunteer Firefighters Relief Association for the period ending January 1st, 2006 to December 31st, 2008. In our opinion, this, that this audit report, this public record, is must be available for examination by all interested citizens, as well as, well as members of the Volunteer Fire Relief Association. The contents of this audit report may be released to appropriate news media in the near future, in line with the policy of this department to make full disclosure to the taxpayer in a manner in which public funds for Commonwealth are being spent. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to contact this Department Bureau of Firefighters, Fire, Firefighters Relief Association Audit um, in Harrisburg, that's why I know. And I guess the... And that's auditing the $4,331 from last year, correct? No. It has nothing to do with the 46000 you got. No, this is the fire relief. This is the fire relief. The, yeah, the, the results yeah, are... Yeah, $4,331. Without reading the whole thing, and you guys can look at this or whatever, the results of our audit for the period of January 1st, 2006 to December 31st, 2008, found in all significant aspects the President Township Volunteer Firefighters Relief Association took appropriate corrective actions to change the findings contained in our prior audit and received and expended funds in compliance with applicable state laws, contracts, bylaws, and administrative procedures. The results of our tasks also indicated the President's Volunteer Fire Relief Association expended funds as presented in the accompanying information, and as of December 31st, 2008, had a cash balance of $5,095 and million. Dollars. Nobody ever answered my question. That's the 4331 that we allocated yes. last year, right? You, if you read the thing... You, I don't you, have it. You do, Kevin, Frank. You keep interjecting stuff, and you just disrupt the I'm mind. asking Thanks questions, and you guys, much. all you have to do is answer. All you have to do is sit there and be quiet like you're supposed no, to. No, Frank, that's what the Sunshine Law is, makes it available to all now, residents to speak up. for you to talk at the beginning of the meeting. And, and they like also have... Talk. You can interject in subject changes of the meeting as well. doing septic systems and you're using Mr. Palm to help you and you're not getting things done right because as long as you brought the subject up 
one of your one of your clients is the store over here and the septic is running out onto the parking lot are you guys going to do anything about it it's been doing it for about eight years now that i've lived next door to it you've been here for eight years yeah. yes i have <laughs> are we going to do anything about it yes no 